Welcome to regex click tutorial in PHP using PCRE or Perl compatible regular expression. Before we start, a little introduction about me. I am Kapil Sharma, technical architect at Eastern Enterprise. I am having 12 plus years experience in web application development. I have completed the Zen certified uh, PHP engineer and uh, ZF certified architect certifications. Uh, this video is part of my video blog series. You can find more such videos on my YouTube channel or uh, on phpreboot.com website. On phpreboot, you can find all of uh, these videos uh, properly organized. For better understanding, uh, I am covering a small part in one video blog so that it is easier to follow and understand but at the same time, it is easier for me to uh, make the videos. As a result, you can expect more than one videos on a single topic. On YouTube, you can find them in order under my playlist or if you are watching it on uh, phpreboot.com, uh, you will already have uh, it in a uh, proper order. So what is uh, phpreboot.com, uh, a small intro, well phpreboot is developers community in Pune, India. We hold regular meetups, if you are in or around Pune, you can RSVP uh, at uh, meetup.com slash uh, php reboot also note php reboot.com is an open source website made in laravel i try to follow all coding best practices there uh, although i am not 100 percent perfect uh, but still uh, many uh, coding best practices has been followed there so if you want to see how to make uh, correct architecture in laravel feel free to review the code you can uh, review the code at uh, github.com slash php reboot slash website and uh, possibly contribute there. Now coming to our main topic, regular expressions. What is regular expression? Well, you are watching this video, so I assume you have some basic idea. Then I'm not going to uh, into much details about theory or history. Uh, theory and history can be easily found on Wikipedia or uh, by simple search in any uh, search engine. In short, regular expression or regex is a powerful way to find some text in a string. Now don't get confused by what is string. Here a string may contain a whole paragraph or even if you want, uh, if you prefer, it can even contain a whole novel. So it could be a very very long string. However, even though regular expressions are powerful uh, due to performance issue, we should try out uh, we should try avoiding them. Uh, we must use regular expression if and only if built-in PHP functions can't solve your problem. Uh, going by a few examples, uh, suppose uh, if you want to find one particular string match another string, what will you do? Will you go for regular expression? No. There's a simple word, uh, simple uh, code. Uh, say, for example, my one string is in name. I want to match it whether it is couple. So, uh, this is a simple code. Although regular expression can search that, but uh, remember inbuilt PHP functions are much more efficient than regular expression. So we should try avoiding that. Again, if you want to find uh, if a string contains another string, uh, then also there are inbuilt PHP function strpos. So for example, uh, my string is I love apples and i want to find if uh, it uh, contains uh, apple so uh, we can do it uh, this function will return one that means apple is present in the given string yes that is there uh, there are also str str and many other functions to work with the strings if uh, you can solve your problem uh, by using inbuilt PHP function, use them. They are much more optimized than regular expressions. However, there are cases if you have uh, a complex pattern to match, use regex. Regex is really very powerful in uh, complex cases. Uh, before we start uh, with regular expression, we need some place to test them. So, uh, let me open uh, Google. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me open Chrome. I have already opened uh, some of the editors. Uh, 
we can obviously uh, write the code to test our regular expressions but that might not be the fastest way if you want to test your regular expression then writing a code for that might not be the fastest way so there are a few websites which allow you to write and test uh, your regular expressions i have already opened few websites uh, first is uh, regexr uh, there is uh, one more php live regex or one more uh, regex101.com and uh, if you search uh, on google you can uh, find uh, many more like that uh, and again if you search uh, you may find some programs as well that you can install uh, on your system locally and uh, work with them online uh, offline sorry uh, so it's always a matter of personal preference i do not have any recommendation there uh, whatever you prefer use it i am almost always connected to the internet but have very limited hard disk space on my mac that i mostly prefer uh, online uh, regular expressions that is my personal preference based on my situation and even uh, online uh, regex editor i mostly prefer uh, regex101.com uh, i have my reasons uh, i simply like that uh, why i like that because uh, i can not only test uh, pcr uh, in php but if i have to write regular expression in javascript i can test it on javascript i sometimes also work on python so i can uh, test uh, my uh, python uh, uh, regular expressions there uh, you can also use golang although i personally do not uh, code on golang then um, there are uh, some ready-made regular expressions library so for example uh, um, there should be for uh, email for example you want to uh, write a regular expression for email very common example uh, that's uh, there we have ready-made code then uh, you can uh, make account and sign in uh, you'll get few more features like saving your regular expressions uh, you can have some settings and they even have uh, irc channel so if you have any uh, questions uh, regarding regular expression you can uh, go to the, uh, their chat room and ask the questions now coming back to the editor uh, we can write a regular expression here we can test uh, write our test string uh, which needs to be tested here if you want uh, replacement uh, you can uh, use substitution uh, then when uh, we write regular expression uh, we get explanation of our regular expression here and uh, whatever match we found here and again uh, there are times when I need to refer uh, uh, some of the common uh, parts of regular expression so there is a uh, quick reference there you can uh, call it a cheat sheet so now let's start with a very simple example for example i want to search abc uh, in a string abc well it's a hundred percent match you can uh, see under the test string the whole abc is highlighted that means it's a match now he, even here in match information you can find character 0 to 3 match so this is the very first example but is it a good example obviously not as we already discussed um, if uh, I have to match uh, exact strings I can use double equal operator or even uh, str pos so this is not a good example uh, suppose the uh, let's add D now I can still find ABC but not 100% match uh, there are few extra characters as well uh, we can also add say for example xyz i can still find abc but again this is not a good example we can still use str port uh, pos uh, now we learned very basic uh, regular expression although i do not suggest using them but it is possible to search uh, through regular expression and it is not exactly uh, limited to uh, characters you can have many more things uh, you can have uh, digits for example I write 2.333 2.3 and say I want to search if 
this test string contains 2.3 so well I find two uh, results 2.3 here match 1 2.3 here match 2 uh, but there is one small problem uh, to demonstrate it let me replace this uh, dot with some other character say x but whoa it's still found so I am trying to look 2.3 and first match I found 2x3 how is it possible this is because in regular expressions there are few meta characters with a special meaning and dot is one of them which means any character thus our regular expression read 2 followed by any character followed by 3 so here it is matching 2 followed by any character in this case x followed by 3 so this is one match so and also uh, if we uh, take our mouse here uh, you can uh, see a tooltip dot matches any character except for new line terminator except for line terminator or a new line character uh, then how can we check for dot well like uh, most programming language there is an escape character in regular expressions as well in regular ex uh, expressions escape character is backslash so if I uh, do backslash dot then it will find only one match exact 2.3 not 2x3 thus uh, backslash tells regular expression engine that following character that following character do not have any special meaning now let's come to meta characters now uh, this is where regular expression start getting powerful finding one string in another is a very simple operation and uh, most of the time in built functions not only in PHP but almost in any other language uh, are capable of doing that regular expressions start getting powerful with meta characters we already discussed one meta character that is dot which means any uh, uh, which match any character regular expressions support many meta characters uh, to match different requirements if you want to use regular expressions effectively we must understand different meta characters and use them wisely if you are using regular expressions regularly you will remember them but if you are not uh, uh, if uh, you need to uh, use them occasionally which is perfectly okay uh, I use them uh, occasionally and it is perfectly okay because um, Mm, we should uh, use regular expression if and only if there is no other way uh, so if you are using uh, regular expressions occasionally you might uh, not remember all the meta characters as uh, in my case so in such conditions uh, regular expressions cheat, uh, cheat sheets are very useful I already opened one uh, cheat sheet uh, I'll share the URL uh, in description but uh, actually not needed uh, you can uh, go to google and uh, simply type PC, uh, CRV cheat sheet and you will find many in this cheat sheet in the top right you can see dot means any character except new line so uh, there are a few uh, more characters for example w which match any character any alpha numeric character a to z it do not mention but uh, a to z is small case as well as uh, capital case as well as digits 0 to 9 um, now regular expressions uh, characters are case sensitive so a small w and capital w have different meanings and most of the time uh, capital word is just opposite of a small so a small w means any word character but capital w means any non word character so let's test it uh, so instead of dot here uh, let me do w so if you remember when it was dot it was finding two dot three but as soon as i say w it is finding two x three so what it is saying two followed by any character alpha any alpha numeric character followed by 3 so 
So if I do it uh, digit as well, say 233, it is still found. And um, if I um, uh, uh, do any special character, then it is not found because it is alphanumeric. Similarly, uh, there is dot D, which uh, remember is small d, which says digit 0 to 9. But we, uh, if we say capital D, it will say uh, non-digit. So let's do it. Uh, let's replace the W by D, and we didn't have any match because uh, uh, there it is X, not digit. Here it is dot, not digit. But if we put uh, two here, then it is match two followed by any digit followed by three. Or if uh, say I say five. It is still match. Then uh, there is white space character uh, S. Now, what is white space? It could be a space, it could be a tab, or it could be a line feed. So, if I go there and uh, put a space there, uh, I have to change it as it is found. And not only that, if I say this, it is also found. Two, then line break 3 so line break is also covered in s uh, crlf so it, uh, is a line break in windows uh, so in this video we discussed uh, some small uh, uh, character with special meanings in regular expression uh, W, S, D, and dot. Uh, there are lots more things we need to know about ranges, uh, uh, and these represent ranges. We need to uh, discuss about quantifier um, because uh, right now there's one major problem. I have to write exact uh, number of uh, characters that I need to find, but uh, in real world example, this might not be the case. So there are many more things. So in next video, but listen, I will come to it later. In the next video, we'll see some PHP programs and how to use these regular expressions in actual PHP code. We obviously want to use regular expression in the code. So using them in code is most important. Uh, with third video in the series, we'll continue to see uh, further possibilities with regular expressions. We'll cover each and every of these topic. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to give comments uh, on YouTube or uh, even on uh, phpreboot.com website where you are watching this. Uh, if you are watching this video on YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel for uh, future video blogs. If you are looking out uh, on phpreboot.com, you can subscribe for newsletter. At the time of recording this video, I am still working on uh, subscribe feature, but uh, soon it will be there. And once it is there, uh, I will notify um, about new videos uh, there. Last but not least, if you have any suggestions to improve this video or uh, for future topics uh, that uh, I should cover in uh, video blogs, feel free to write in comments. Thanks. Let's continue in next video.